Hi everyone, it's Laura the Quarantine Gardener and so today I'm just going to show you a patch at the front of the estate where uh, a few of the neighbours have Marion has put in her wild garlic which is doing fantastic and then uh, put in some bedding uh, that I'd left over just to give it a little bit of colour and just to show you then uh, again I had more of the campy and as I said it's incredibly vigorous um, from my mother's garden so transplanted and you can see this is what I want to show you is just that little bit of transplant a little bit of wilt the day after and also the Shasta daisy fever few is doing fine and uh, this is a very dry bed so I have a little concern that the other one isn't as far away and yes I'll water it and hopefully some of the other neighbours might water this one so we'll see how the transplants do here but they're still fine that's it overnight so today what I'm going to look at is seedlings um, so again, uh, just to show you, these are just seedlings that are surplus or were growing, had spread into gravel areas in the garden and weren't wanted. And again, they're fantastic um, plants that will naturalize and will, will really, if these take, you know, it really cuts out on your weeding problems and also you'll have lovely summer color for a lot of the colors. So first is, of course, the lovely Oxide Daisy. Um, which again you can see this one is about to pop. You might lose the flower after we transplant it because just the shock uh, but maybe not. They're tough customers so a great one and that, that will continue to self-seed and really uh, will kind of colonize this area so that um, it'll always be there a bit like the wild garlic and will really reduce the need for weeding. So a good few of the oxide daisies which I'll spread in a couple of the beds. Um, what else have we? We've of course some calendulas or English marigolds which again beautiful orange and yellow flowers and again they're strong self-seeders so once they get into a bed you'll have them so you'll always have that color um, so they're a great one to, to put into a bed and of course we have aquilegia or ladies bonnets which again yes over time there's probably a need to thin them out but again beautiful flowers this time of year um, a very strong flower and uh, they have a mix of colors you've got blues pinks whites and the aquilegia or ladies bonnets so another nice one and it'll spread and self-seed um, and of course we have some Hypericum perforatum this is the St John's wort um, the medicinal one which again has little yellow flowers so again a nice one to include in the bed so there's just a mixture of some of the seedlings uh, and then I'll just go to another one of the beds that um, I did yesterday so this bed as you can see it's a mixed shrub bed and from the front looking pretty good but the back, which backs onto um, a lot of the houses in the estate have a view actually, the back of the bed, there was nothing. So again, I've just put a row of some pansies violas towards the front and again, transplants. And again, this is a very dry bed. So just to show you how they're doing a day after being transplanted again, we've got the campion. Um, I've just watered it. It was looking very wilty, but it's responding already. So this is very dry, this part of the bed. So again, time will tell. I'll keep an eye and I'll come back and post and let you see how things worked or didn't work because that's always useful information. The fever few doing fine. Um, again, Geronicum, lovely yellow flowering this time of year. Uh, more of the campion just split and seeded. And primulas, which will be dying back now, but next spring we'll, we'll be very grateful of the colour here. Again, some of the Aquilegia the campion and like I say just not to worry about that transplant wilt which you will get for the first few days and then they recover. Okay everybody that's it. Uh, hope you're spreading the joy in your communities, spreading the flowers and the love at a social distance and uh, just giving each other the hope and uh, the joy that look we're all going to come through this and uh, yeah so send a lot of love and enjoy. Take care.